Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I haven't seen you in a long time. It's kind of because uh, since I went to Miller, South Dakota with my parents and had the no vegan burger, and I ate it and the fries and ketchup, and it was awesome. Hold on, one, two, three. <laughs> Take this off. Incriminating picture. Were you gonna take it? I don't know if I did or not. <laughs> um, I've kind of been eating half vegan and half uh, standard American diet, the sad diet. I've been eating that way. And uh, uh, it kind of sucks because I, at that point I was 175 and I thought, well, okay, I'll eat vegan through the week and then on the weekend go crazy and have uh, food that's got chemicals in it and just really poor quality food. I don't know, I just going six months vegan and coming off of that, um, and the first thing I did was have food like that and then I had McDonald's and then I had Burger King and then I had Minerva's. I, I, I had, wait, I don't know if I had Minerva's. I had a whole bunch of, you know, just standard American diet stuff. You can tell that they put chemicals in the food because you can feel it in your body. You feel like you're being poisoned. If you haven't had like Burger King and McDonald's type food for six months and then bam, you have it, you can tell the difference. And then I had, I started drinking coffee again and just a little bit of coffee can keep you up till three in the morning, you know? I mean, it's just when you haven't been poisoning yourself with things that like take up your adrenal glands, take taking energy that you need for emergency reserves, you're taking that by drinking coffee, it, it, you can tell the difference. And, and I hate, on, on Saturday, I started to drink coffee on Saturday, and, and um, then it would keep me up all night, and then I would skip church. So uh, just a little bit of coffee will do that to me. And today I had half-calf, but I'm not gonna, here's my plan. I'll try to tell you my plan. My plan is to, um, Father's Day is coming up tomorrow. Um, so we're going to go to a picnic in the park, weather permitting. And we're going to eat like kings one last time. Eat, eat all the poisonous food that we can. You know, just whatever it is. We're going to just, just pour sugar upon our systems. Just douse our systems with enjoyment and chemicals and, and, and brain fogging foods one last time and then we're gonna do like another stint and I have a job now and it's gonna be a little tougher to do that work but everyone at work pretty much makes fun of me it calls me vegan boy and banana breath already so I'm already to the point where I just don't care about how they think of me and and I you know and I think a lot of people right now the consciousness is out there that people believe that the food has poison in it and it's true I don't know what they're doing to the the human food but um, you can tell the difference it's dumbing people down and making people more cloudy mentally and I just hate feeling like that and plus I hate being 210 pounds so um, I'm going to become a raw vegan again for a stint maybe not forever um, at some point I may go off of it again and, and eat, <laughs> eat like a king again, you know, maybe I'll go to Vegas next year and just eat steaks every day and like I did this year. Um, <laughs> cause it's, it's kind of fun to like build a castle in the sand and then just knock it down because, <laughs> you know, metaphor for the kind of food I'm eating, um, to just, cause that food is fun to eat. I like having copious amounts of ice cream. And I like having pizza, and I like having Papa John's, and I like having the stuff, but to know that it has the chemicals is what I want to, to, to know, that I'm, I'm clogging my body, I'm doing bad things to my heart, so that it's a temporary thing, which for me, it's been about three or four months of just eating whatever I want. So now I'm going to quit, all right? I'm going to turn over a new leaf for about six more months or something and just go raw and lose all that weight again, especially since it's summer, because love handles are nice. But I, I also, last time I just went on the diet, lost 50 pounds in three months. This time I wanna do that same diet, do a lot of juicing from my garden and stuff, and then 
but also work out really hard, just hard work, working out. And at my job, it's a physical job, so, so I can be able to be awesome or something. I, I just, I think motivation's part of it too. It has to be part of it. Because, um, you know, when you're younger, getting in shape is all about getting chicks. Well, now I'm married and I have two cats to think about. So, it's to, to me now, it's to be more happy, more mentally clear. And, and to be in shape feels good and it, it makes your jokes funnier. It's just, it just hits every level of your life. Even if you're not trying to like uh, pick up chicks anymore with that, you know. I don't know. It just, it just commands attention and it, it makes your jokes funnier for some reason. That, that's what it, my motivation for this is, um, you know, to, to lose the extra pounds. So it's, it's funnier when I say stuff. It's a stupid motivation, but I, I have to hold on to something now that, you know, I'm married. Plus, you know, I still want to look good for her, you know, so that we, we can have a better experience in the bedroom and all that. <laughs> hey, being honest here, it's fun. It feels good to just get things off my chest. But, um, so I'm not going to be cooking my food. I'm going to be eating vegan, and I'm not going to be having coffee. My one drawback is I'll probably still have Hall's cough drops. That's what I did last time. And I still lost a ton of weight. But, you know, sometimes, you know, life, when life gets hard, I'll have a Hall's cough drop or if I have a sore throat. <laughs> um, that's, you know, you got to have your one little thing. And that's not that big of a deal. It has sugar in it. But whatever, 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 whatever. I've been eating like a king up to this point. So it doesn't matter to me. That'll be my one little... That'll be my eject cord. I'll pull it. I need a halls when life's hitting me hard. I'll be like, ooh, I need a halls. Where's my halls? I need my halls. And I'll be like, yeah, yeah, halls. I think the coffee's hitting me. I'm going to go work out with my coffee and sugar energy. And then I'm going to go and... Something else I was going to do. Play guitar. <laughs> Play it. Learn some fish songs. Anyway... I hope you're having a great Saturday, and I hope this was an inspiring video for you. Maybe you want to start eating raw or partly raw. I just find that it helps to just go completely strict for a while and then just go off it. Make a beautiful castle in the sand and then just wreck it. <laughs> That's what I want to do. So, have a good day.